And now that we have reached this tower here, we do want to go inside here, outside of the kind of outside surrounding ocean to kind of go here. Now on the land here, we do want to go to the northeast. But first, I do want to show off Jan's bikini. Jan looks a lot better. Look at her shake her hips in that magic bikini. If I can get another one, and they are drops from those Murkings, I will have three party members in that magic bikini. It's the best thing that I have available to me right now. And as we get a good look at Jan's ass, let's finally go into the village here. Unfortunately, with Alice, I don't really have the option of showing that off. Let's head in here and finally make it to the village of Cole. It has been some time since we were told to come here, but we finally made it. We went damn near everywhere else first though, didn't we? Let's talk to you. The owner of the item store is a highly skilled swordsmith. He often buys useless items so he can restore them and resell them. That is incredibly important. Let's talk to you. I heard the king's sword was shattered into pieces by Zoma, but it took him three years to break it. That must have been one incredibly strong sword and one incredibly determined Zoma. It took him three years? Was it like constant pressure? How the hell did he do that? This is a weapons and armor shop. Would I like to buy anything? Probably not. I do want to kind of save my money right now, even though it doesn't look like I'm going to want to for a little bit. That zombie killer does look pretty good. That does look pretty good. Nothing else really stands out. Sage staff, though, I might buy. Maybe. I do want to save my money, though. The sage staff does use heal more in battle when used as an item. Plus, it ups Alice's attack. Probably still going to avoid it, though. I should be fine as is. Let's go around and talk to you up here. How you doing? Rubis is sealed in a tower on an island just off the western so shore of this peninsula. I did see that tower, didn't I? Let's head... Yeah, let's head up. We'll head around in a bit. Now, just an in. Here, though, we do find something that is very familiar to me, isn't it? Welcome, this is the public bathhouse. This looks very, very familiar. Would you care to take a bath? Not with you, old man. You'd think the water would be a little warmer, but without the sun, it's almost impossible for the water to retain its heat. How I long to take a bath with hot water again. If it was hot springs, it'd be fine. But if I say yes, youngsters sure are picky these days. What? When I said yes? All right, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Looks like it's going to be on the other side here. Now, can you find it? You can. It was right here? All right, let's look there. Here we can find the ocarina, I mean fairy flute. We'll just hold on to that. That's probably going to be very important. And here we can find you. God is light, Zoma is darkness. The struggle between the light and darkness has been an ongoing struggle for many years. But if you possess the light ball, you would be able to severely weaken Zoma. Thank you, Red Woman. The night is dark and full of terrors. But that is actually important. We will need to remember that for later. It looked like I was next in line for Orochi, so we ran away from the village. But we ended up falling into this world. My husband used to be an incredible swordsmith when we lived in Zipangu. I'm not sure I understand how everybody gets here, but it's quite common, apparently, for people just to fall off the previous world into this world. Here we can get a Pa Cheesy ticket. I will take it. And clothes, which are not nearly as good as the Pa Cheesy ticket, really. All right, let's talk to you here. With the fairy flute, Rubis can finally be freed from her curse that imprison her, imprisons her in stone. So now we do have our next destination. We need to get to that tower and use the fairy flute. But first, we need to talk to this guy. I'm having a dilemma. A man named Kandar tricked me into thinking the steel sword was actually the fabled king sword. You got fooled by Kandar? You are terrible. Absolutely terrible. Supposedly, the king sword was made entirely of orichalcum. You knew that that was going to be important. You just knew it. A swordsmith who they say hails from Zipangu lives upstairs. Now, this is where 
things start getting a little mm, iffy, but I should be fine. In here we can find a small metal, that is not iffy. Either is the thing in here, which is a Pachisi ticket. Now this is where I always get nervous. This is a guy, by the way. It doesn't look like a guy to me, but I'm not up to date on medieval Japan. Let's talk to him. This is an item shop. How can I help you? Do you have anything that I want? Not really. You do have slime earrings, but I'm... Eh, no. This is where things are really weird. What I want to do is sell something from the bag. I want to sell... My orichalcum, one of the most expensive things that I have. And I'm just going to give it to this guy. Well, I'm selling it. I'm getting money. But still, there's something very wrong about this. Y yeah, okay. Take it. Would you like to sell anything else? No, I am good. Now I have a lot of money, it looks like. Not so much. You'll see why in a bit. Now, how you have to do that is a little strange, but that is at least the first part down. Is there something on this spot? I thought there might be. A pa cheesy ticket there. Now, with that done, I think we are... Hmm. Now, I'm going to, to rest at the end, make sure that I've gotten all the items, and then we will head down this well that I've been avoiding. Only one small item that I missed, and that is right here on the stairs. We can find a small metal. Did not think to look on stairs. Probably didn't get that in the seek out either. Now we are ready to go down the well. As you might expect, there is actually something to do down here. Otherwise, I wouldn't have put this off for so long. Now, I believe it's like here. I can find another small metal. So what is the big deal here? Well, there's a cave over there. What is this? This is Cole's Pachisi Plaza. We have another Pachisi course to take care of. What we need to do here is first find all the items that I want. There sure is a lot of gambling in this hot spring town. Sure, sure there is. We need to head way over here where we can find ourselves a Pachisi ticket. That's one Pachisi ticket. We will probably be using quite a few here. I do not like this spot. I'll cut out many times that I lose gratuitously though. Man, this one sure is exciting, isn't it? Ah, uh, I hate it, it's so random. I'm just a spectator, of course you are. Now, that's the first floor, as I'm sure you might imagine. This one has multiple floors as well. Now we need to search all these stars here where we can find more paw cheesy tickets. And if I remember right, this is where you land if things don't go your way. Another paw cheesy ticket there, and one more here. Now we can head up to the top floor. You know, is it going to be better if I put somebody in a bikini on this? Probably not. Probably not. Now, we should be able to find the goal somewhere around... No? Where am I? There's the key. There's the key. There's the goal. Now, is it here? There we can find another small metal. This is starting to get ridiculous. <laughs> starting to get ridiculous on how many hidden items there are just lying around here. Now, I think we need to go back around and to the other side because there's still more. We're not done here yet. I think we need to go up and around. Now, I think it's somewhere around this corner here. Where is it? I'm not sure on this one. Oh, it is the corner itself. I didn't think it was. And we can get another Pachisi ticket there. I mean, it's just insane to me how many Pachisi tickets there are. I think, though, that is it. I think that is all of the hidden items that are lying around here. So let, I'll just meet you back at the start. Good God, it's a ways. I think we're as ready as we're going to be. Let's talk to you and get into the Pachisi game yet again. 25 turns, that might not be enough. But there are a couple things here with small metals that I do want to point out. The first one being this 
chest, this drawer, this dresser right here. So I will be back for that. There are also... Ooh, two steps, three steps. Uh, we're gonna go to the right. Seriously. I'm also going to cut the battles if, like this, they're just gonna take too long. With one person, with a single target, sword, it's not necessarily that easy. There is another pot that I do want to go to, uh, but there are two exits to this game. I'm obviously going for the one on the right side here. Anything but a three. Are you kidding me? All right, since they're not gonna give me the opportunity to show it off, if you go to the right side, this pot here has a small metal in it. Now, you have to go around this set of stairs in order to get it. So I will probably be back for that because I need to get warped to the left side. We're still in this. You know, it's still entirely possible for us to make it through this, but it's going to be a bit of a challenge. So I'm going to roll again, and I'm going to hope for the best. Another turn, that's always worthwhile. Don't give me a two, that thing hurts so damn bad. Four, I can deal with a four. Uh, yes, there's a sign that says pick a path. Okay, I was kind of hoping for something better than that, but I'll take it, I guess. Yes? Hey, I find some gold. A good chunk of it, too. Let's continue on. You kidding me? And this thing, it hurts so bad. It hurts so bad. I'm gonna have to heal before I even get into a fight. Five? Perfect. Puts us on to the next floor. Now, this is doing pretty well. This is, this is pretty good. No, I'm not gonna risk it again. I think we're good. I need some higher ones here. We still have a ways to go. Open the drawer and we find a muscle guide book, which I do not care about. But we still need to make it to, it turns out, the regular goal this time. Great, a doubtful voice can suddenly be heard. Guys, servants, grant this person your power. Can strength increased by four points? Very, very nice. We'll take that five more. Gas flows out from below. 65 MP gone. This is not so good. Six more. And I get some money. Wow, a thousand gold is worthwhile. Two, right there. Yes. An agility seed. Very nice. I need a five. Give me a five for the goal. I should point out, though, that there is another goal over here with the key. Uh, this also has a treasure that is not available here. You can see just the one treasure chest there. There's actually two in the other one. So hopefully I can manage to pull this off. Six is not going to do it. No. Give me a one. Give me a one. Yes! And I have done it! I have one of the goals down. This goal gives me a light dress. Now I think that's gonna have to go like straight into the bag, yeah. Uh, oh, I can't even equip it right now. Let's head down and get the rest of my party with me. I don't know how they randomly just show up like that, but uh, let's take a look at that light dress. It might be good. It is indeed very good. I'm going to uh, give it to probably Kim. But what I'm going to do for now is I'm gonna go rest, try to get Kim some HP and MP back, and we will do this again. I will meet you at the other goal, should I ever get that. And I'm going to get these small medals as well. Actually, this is the pot with the second small medal on it. It is on the second floor on the eastern side. Not the one that I showed you previously. That one actually had a stamina seed in it for me, but this is the one that you will need if you want to get the small medals. It is on the second floor, eastern side, two away from the stairs. And as a result of this roll here, I did unlock the key door, which is good because I got both of the small medals that I was looking for. Let's head in here, and in here, it's kind of weird. You have this kind of dungeon-looking maze 
with your prizes hidden in it. It's so weird to me. I don't think you can get into fights here or anything, but in here we can get a life ring. Definitely sounds fantastic to me. Let's head down here. And down here we have yet another kind of set of maze-like structures, I guess you could say, with, at the end, this treasure chest with the Gringham Whip. And we're going to put that into the bag as well with all of the prizes obtained here in Cole's Pachisi Plaza. That is going to do it for these parts of Let's Play Dragon Quest 3. I've been Baller Scuba. I've been joined, as always, by my gambling squad of Kim, Alice, Samja, and Jan. Some of which are wearing swimsuits. Hope you guys have enjoyed these parts. Hope you laughed. Hope you learned. Hope to see you next time. Thanks for watching.